Hi, welcome to the witch house. Pull up a chair, have a sit, and let's chat. So, my Newt's experience. Oh my God. <laughs> Where to start is truly the question. Um, we have the stuff and the things to show you, but I want to talk about the people first because that was actually the most important thing that I got out of this entire weekend were the personal connections that I made with people I had only talked to uh, through YouTube or Facebook or in, um, you know, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, those kinds of things. And to actually be able to stand and talk and hug these wonderful people it, it was just absolutely amazing. Um, my experience started right out of the gate. Um, I had arrived at the airport, called the hotel. They said the shuttle was out there. I found the shuttle to the hotel. And as I'm climbing into the van, this lady says to me, well, if it isn't Jennifer Ball from Jennifer Ball's Witch House, I thought it was going to die. <laughs> I was like... Oh my God, somebody knows who I am, right? I totally freaked out, totally freaked out. But it was so wonderful. Not once had it ever crossed my mind that anybody would know who I was. And so um, that was really a wonderful way <laughs> to start my weekend. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shout out to some wonderful people that I got to spend a little bit of time with this weekend who I appreciate so much, so much for watching my channel and just being with me and, you know, being able to make that connection with you all was just really very special. And so I would like to shout out the lovely Kathy and her husband, Charlie, um, sisters, Victoria and Brenda, uh, Kimberly and Janice. You guys are just so amazing. It was great to spend time with you and I look forward to doing it hopefully next year. Yay! So now I'm going to kind of, I'm going to try and go in chronological order because there is a lot and I have a lot to say um, about my weekend and about me and about what's been going on. So this is going to kind of be a catch up with newts. So um, some of you noticed that I haven't posted a video in about three weeks. And truthfully, the thought never even really occurred to me very much until I got to Oregon and in the hotel room that I had been depressed. So I had literally just been kind of functioning through December, January, and February. It wasn't until I was taken out of my environment that it kind of smacked me in the face what had been happening. And it was really, this weekend was the perfect shakeup to, to what I needed. Um, the first day, well, I should say I got there a day early to spend some time with friends of mine who had previously moved to Portland, um, <clears throat> several years ago. Unfortunately, we weren't able to make that happen because one of my friends is a doctor and she ended up getting the flu and the whole quarantine. And so, yeah, we just completely nixed that. So maybe next year I'll get to spend time with them. Um, so I ended up, oh my God, meeting Jen from Jen's Balanced Tarot. Oh my God, when the two of us met, we could, we could barely keep our eyes dry. <laughs> it was so wonderful um, to be with her all weekend. Um, we really formed a terrific bond and she is just the most amazing soul. Um, I I'm so glad we're friends. She is exactly how you see her on YouTube. 
no fake in there. What you see is what you get. And it was wonderful. So we had a lot of fun palling around all weekend together with her friend Steph and uh, with Kim as well. Kimberly, uh, we got to meet Kimberly and she kind of joined us and we palled around with her too. So it was great. So the first day, since we all got there on Thursday, um, Jen wanted to take me to, there was a, there's a witchy shop called New Renaissance. And there's also this place called Powell's Bookstore. Holy shit balls. I'm telling you, this place is literally a city block of books. I could have gotten lost in that place for days, literally days. It's the most amazing thing I have ever seen. It was great. It was wonderful. And so we kind of split up and went our separate ways to, to look at all the wonderful things that were in the, in the bookstore. But I digress. First, we started at New Renaissance. And they had, it was a lovely witchy bookstore. It had all kinds of things. But I was pretty good in there because I was trying to really save the bulk of my money for newts. But what I did find was um, I found these these absolutely adorable bookmarks. If you don't know, I'm a bookmark whore. Um, <laughs> and funny as it is, um, you you pick out your, your birthday and your birthday tells you what playing card you are and then all about yourself. So I thought that was that was quite fun. And it turns out that my birthday is the eight or is the nine of clubs which is universal thinker and my andy is the eight of clubs and his was mental strength so of course i had to get these lovely bookmarks while we were there too they had a huge selection of incense not like i need any more incense but uh our friend jilly uh little zen crone she is doing a March meditation month, month of March meditation. And um, she said in one of her videos what incense she uses when she meditates. And by Jove, if they didn't have it. So it's this morning star cedarwood uh, incense. And so Jen and I both got the incense. So now when we meditate in March, we're meditating in spirit with our Jilly, who is a champion, championing the meditations. So, um, yeah, that was awesome. Also, I want to preface this by, if I talk about companies and people, I will, um, I'll be linking everybody's information down below so you know exactly where to find these people and items and things and, and all of that wondrous, wondrous stuffs. So uh, we did that, and then we went over to Powell's Books. Um, we spent about two hours in the bookstore. It was great. It was so great. And bless Jen and Steph, they went behind my back, and they got me this great uh tote bag with the the high priestess we all have one so the three of us all have the same bag so i'm so excited about having my tarot bag here um while i was at pals of course um i have a refrigerator filled with all kinds of magnets so i had to treat myself to a powell's books magnet and i saw these astrology pencils their astrology pencils and the this is mine for Leo and I just couldn't resist I mean look at look at some of those sayings oh my god <laughs> they're so me right I mean but let's get back to me right <laughs> so I had to get that and of course I got a book uh, they didn't have, you know, a lot of their uh, witchcraft books. Truthfully, I already have. 
So, um, so I wasn't really looking for anything more on witchcraft. I really wasn't looking for anything more on tarot. I was looking for something different that potentially I can't get in my area. So this is what we go for. Interview with an exorcist. So this is a, uh, a book that um, interviews uh, Father Jose Antonio Fortilla, um, a known, a, a well-known uh, priest uh, of exorcism. So I'm excited to read this book. Yes, it's thin and I haven't even touched it yet. So, so much going on. My head is still trying to process everything. So we had a great day on Thursday between New Renaissance and Powell's books. Um, and then Friday, the conference started. Oh my God. So the main speaker Friday morning was Rachel Pollock, who was absolutely incredible and amazing. And she is just such a nice woman. Um, and I was very excited to hear and see her presentation because she gave us a spread to use tarot to communicate with the dead. So I'm very excited to actually use this to talk to my Andy and to my mom. Um, one of the things I did discover during the whole of the conference and through the various workshops is that um, I'm still very much grieving. And I, I tried to figure out why do I keep trying to, I keep trying to push this process. I keep trying to force myself past this. And, you know, but, you know, my heart isn't having it. My, my brain says one thing, but my heart is, is not having it. And so... That was a that was a pretty big wake up call for me this weekend with the uh, the wonderful workshops. Anyway, back to Rachel. Rachel did this wonderful spread, and this they had a volunteer from the audience, the the wonderful Callie, and this woman put herself up there and was very vulnerable to us doing this spread and for Rachel to help her read through this. So it was really. Um, a wonderful experience and it was so bonding to all of us because we've all been in that same position. We have all been touched by death. Everyone in that room knew somebody or was close to somebody who died. So it was an amazing, amazing start to the weekend for me. And, and from there, it only got better. I mean, they had some wonderful um, workshops that were given. Um, for me, one of the most amazing uh, workshops I went to was given by Liz Worth. And she did uh, the five pillars of spiritual leadership. And it was an amazing, um, amazing, amazing workshop that opened my eyes to a lot of different things. And the fact that all of us are spiritual leaders in one way, shape, or form. And so we need to understand that and how to take responsibility for that and what to do with it. And it, it was just, it was very good, down-to-earth, practical information, which made absolute sense when you look at the picture as a whole. So, um... Liz, where is it? Oh no, don't tell me I lost it. Oh, hold on. There it is. I've got piles, literally piles, guys. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is one of Liz's books. She has two books. She has um, Tarot beyond the basics or deeper into the basics or behind the reading. It's a deeper dive into the tarot meanings. And then she had this one, the power of tarot. And 
She had both of them at the conference, but she didn't have as many of the, the learning, the meanings as she had this one. So I managed to snag this one and the other ones got gobbled up very, very fast. But you can go to her website and she does have links where you can, where you can get this through Lulu. That's who she prints it through. So yeah. Um, so that pretty much sums up, um, I guess, the workshops. They certainly, oops, excuse me. They certainly um, kept us running uh, from morning till evening. So, uh, but it was nice. It was structured very nice. They gave us enough breaks to go uh, over to the vending hall to, to go shopping. We had uh, an availability to have nice leisurely lunches. And um, yeah, so overall, the, uh, the presentations and the way they had the day structured was really very nice. Although, man, by, by the end of Saturday, I, I was wore out. Oh my God, I was so tired Saturday night that um, I, I missed the first class Sunday morning. I kind of begged off and I, I told Jen and Steph, you're going to have to go on without me because I just can't do it. <laughs> I have other views on the Monarch Hotel. Um, you know, they did, they did okay, but um, I, I think they, they might have done a little bit better. My bed was just, it was off center it was lumpy it was bumpy it just it i did not sleep well during the weekend so but we're going to concentrate on the good stuff from uh which is which is the stuff right oh my god where do i start okay so i went down well i'm going to start with the potlatch table i think so they have what's called a potlatch table. You can bring things that you don't want and put them on the table so other people can take them. And then, you know, it kind of runs all weekend. And people bring their stuff down in various stages. And I had several decks, believe it or not, that um, I had been, you know, from a while ago, from about a year ago. Uh, was anticipating getting rid of. So I, I kept them for this. And I was so lucky. Um, I got some amazing things off off the table. Um, ooh, so I got two books and I got some decks. So the first thing that showed up on the table was the Wheel of the Year Tarot. Now, this had been on my wish list, but of course, I don't have it because it wasn't high on my wish list. Um, you guys know I'm doing mostly Kickstarters, and so the uh, the mass market tarots have just taken a back seat. Um, but it was on my wish list, and so I got this off the potlatch table. And then I went back, you know, a little while later, and... This showed up on the potlatch table, Moon Magic with uh, Dion Fortune. So I was very excited to get that because I'm building like a, a Moon Magic Moon Work library. Um, since the last couple of years, I switched from working with the sun to working with the moon. Um, and then, wow, uh... <laughs> I went back and again, look what showed up here. The Witch's Goddess book. So every goddess imaginable is in this book. And I'm just so excited to have it and, and to peruse its pages and see what I can glean any additional information about many different goddesses. So I know that uh, Janet and Stuart Farrar have a god version of this. So um, yeah. And then, I couldn't believe it, somebody put a brand new copy of the Panda Tarot. Brand new, still sealed Panda Tarot. I had to, he's so cute. He's so cute! 
Look at his face. <laughs> and then <coughs> I should have brought something to drink because I never talk this much, but we're going to because this was huge, huge, I tell ya. Okay, so, and then lastly, Tarot of the 78 Doors. How cool was that? And I'm telling you, this was really wonderful because all of these decks are, I mean, they look like they're barely used. I don't think anybody has used them. And obviously, the Panda Tarot is um, brand spanking new. So, yeah, very excited. So, I got a lot of terrific stuff um, off the potlatch table. Who knew, right? Okay, so that was just the potlatch table. I ended up with two books and three decks. Just for the record, I brought six decks with me. So, um, <laughs> I know some people are going to say, that's an awful lot of stuff to take off the potlatch table. I hope you brought more in return. I did. I did. You know, the potlatch is a, it can be a one-to-one a -one exchange or... You know, one to two exchange, and I brought six decks with me. So, anyway, all right, moving on. Um, all right, now we're going to get into the vendor room, the vendor room. So, I go down to the vendor room, and what is the first thing I run into but the Cardamancer table. So, they had back issues of the Cardamancer which um, I bought I bought two back issues because I really wanted to read this Tarot for the Soul by Carolyn Cushing, which I found out uh, about Carolyn Cushing in another workshop I was in. And I really wanted to read this Mix and Match by Jamie Elford. So I got these two back orders um, from the Cardamancer. They also had... Um, they had the new edition of the Cardamancer on the table for show with my article in it. I'm so excited to see it in print, in print. Oh my God. It was such a total rush. And I have to thank the ladies of the Cardamancer, Lori Barbieri Ross and Amanda Newsom and and my my all collaborative amazing genius writer editor uh, Amber Highland you know she and I couldn't get enough of each other it was, she's really one of those people I just wanted to hug forever and ever and ever and um we did. Every morning we hugged. Every evening we hugged. We hugged all day long. It was it was so wonderful. And with that, um, <clears throat> Amber also brought a prototype of her deck, Oracle of the Naughty Weave. She and Amanda Newsome uh, have this new uh, Oracle deck that you can pre-order which I will put the link down below with all the other stuff and stuff. But it's a, going to be a wonderful, wonderful Oracle, Oracle deck. I got to see the prototype and feel the cards. And I like them. They're, they're bendy, but not too bendy. Um, they are not, uh, they're not shiny. They're not shiny. Shuffle like a dream. Riffle to your heart's content, people. Um. It, it, it's just a fantastic deck. And I was lucky enough to get um, one, get an original. So Amanda, who is the artist, um, gave me one of her original uh, drawings for the Naughty Weave. And she, she signed it for me. And I just, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look how amazing he is standing there tall with all his branches. And there she is, you know, feeling so small, but she's protected because he's there, you know? She's not alone. She's not alone. I felt this so hard when I picked it up. So hard. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I just don't know what to say. This is just like a soul piece for me. So I can't wait to uh, frame it and hang it. So yeah, that was my experience at, um, at the Cardamancer table, which was amazing. Um, let's see, also down the way, there was a woman um, whose name is Janet Brayson. Janet Brayson has Amaris Rising. And again, all the stuff down below. But she had these wonderful bags. And she had them in small, medium, and large. And of course, you know me. Go big or go home, right? So these bags with the koalas on them, 100% of the proceeds of anybody who bought these bags were going to a koala rescue. So, um, of course, I had to buy one of these. And... Um, it's just, it's so cute. And then it's even got a little, it's got a little koala, a little silver koala on the end here. So how cute is that, right? Um, and of course, that was one day. And the next day I came around again. And by Jove, if she didn't have this out there. Now, I cannot walk away from, from Jack for nothing. You know, Jack's my man. And then this one has a lovely silver spider charm on it. So, yeah, I got this. I got the jack as well. <clears throat> oh, gosh, before I forget, too. Yeah, one of the workshops we attended was uh, talking about tarot, and, tarot, talismans, and manifesting magic. And so... We each uh, got to choose a talisman from the table, um, and we literally manifested magic into our choices. Now, this was wonderful to, to have Jen there for, because this is what I do with literally every piece of jewelry I own is some kind of magical piece of jewelry. It is for a reason. I don't wear it just to wear it. There's a particular reason for it. Now, up until now, I had used tarot in my manifesting magic. It was just me and herbs and candles and incense and, you know, the normal witchy stuff. <clears throat> but now... Tarot cards adds just another level to it. And so this is the talisman that I made. It, um, it looked like wings to me until I got it closer. And it's actually an owl, which makes perfect sense to me. The wise old owl. Um, yeah, so that was, that was a lot of fun. Um, okay, back down to the vending hall. We, we may have a few of these segues. So, um, I also got to hang out with Jenna of Moonlit Fay. <laughs> lovely lady, lovely lady. And of course, I got this bag. Um, I'm going to put Jamie's, one of Jamie's decks in here, probably um, her tarot deck in here. Uh, so, I love it with the window so you can see exactly what deck it's in. So it was wonderful to meet Jenna and to get one of her products. She was sharing a booth, of course, with the wonderful Jamie Sawyer. We all know and love Jamie and her tarot tiles and her Lenormand and her tarot and just the things. It's Jamie. Um, amazing, amazing. It was, it was wonderful to see the tiles in person. To hold them in my hand. She's got delightful boards. Um, she has a, an amazing amount of uh, card holders. I bought this one because, of course, I like black. And, of course, it's got the, um, the moon phases here as well. Um, this is etched, and I just, I, it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And she had these in black, and I think she had them in clear as well, if I remember. Um, and then 
her magnifier. I got a magnifier. So I love it. Absolutely love it to, to see those details. See those details in my cards. Get a real close look. So that was uh, amazing meeting uh, Jamie and hanging out with her. She's, she's a fantastic lady. Um, I also got to um, see Ethany and hang out with her. Awesome. She is one awesome bitch. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I love her to pieces. She's great. Um, yeah, we had a nice chat. So, um, gosh. All right. So what else? All right. Um, <laughs> so a friend of mine told me about the, oh, I'm going to screw this up. I think it's called World Wild Dryad, a wild dryad, because it's, it's on the back too. But anyway, one of my friends, uh, close friends, went to Newt's a couple of years ago, and he found this spread and uh, shared it with me, and it is, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's called the Practitioner's Spread. And he had, she was presenting a, her name is Grace Sequoia. And she was presenting a workshop the year he went. So he also got her practitioner spread workbook. Well, I was so lucky that um, I wouldn't have figured it out. But he texted me and said, hey, she's got a new spread out. Can you get it for me? So... I did, and her newest one is called the Heaven and Earth Spread. Um, and while I was there, I just got, I just got all her spreads. So <laughs> she's got the uh, Heaven and Earth Spread. Here comes the garbage man. The Practitioner Spread. Um, she has a Light and Shadow Spread, and she also has a Path Point Spread. So I. I, I bought them all because the practitioner spread is really, really good. And um, I think it's definitely worth uh, the price, which is, which is really not that expensive, truthfully. Um, the workbook was, I think, $25, and the spreads were $10 a piece, which for what you get, what she gives you, the information is well worth it. Well worth it. Um, <clears throat> I also found uh, Soultopia. Soultopia, <clears throat> Michelle Welch, um, and I found this amazing Prehenite, I'm going to shake, Prehenite necklace. I mean, isn't that a gorgeous piece of Prehenite? Look how wonderful. And this sucker just zings. Preonite is good for um, really opening the, the, the vibrations. It's also good for, it said, um, extraterrestrial contact. So, you know, I'm not saying no. But it's also, it's, it's a very high vibe uh, stone. So it just... <laughs> sucked me in and Soultopia has some wonderful items. They're a small store, um, but uh, they do have a presence online. Um, <clears throat> and then the other piece of jewelry I got is this beautiful stone. And I don't know how well hmm, you're going to be able to see it because well, maybe there. You see, it almost looks like a galaxy to me, you know? And I had never heard of this stone before. And it's called uh, Scatterkite. Scatterkite? S-K-A-T-T-U-E-I-K-I-T-E. -E. But it's, an, uh, it's another high-vibing you know, stone for uh, protection and shielding 
and um, I just I fell in love with it. So that is my jewelry haul. Hmm. Okay, now we're 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 starting to get down to it. So um, when we arrived uh, at Newt's, Llewellyn, thank you, Llewellyn, provided everybody with a tarot deck. So I got the other kin, which again was on my wish list. <laughs> but you know, so I got the other kin tarot. So I'm excited to. Um, to get into this and check this out. Yes, I haven't opened anything yet either. Um, so we got that. And then back down in the vending area uh, was Llewellyn. And oh my God, what did they have? They had the Shadowland Tarot. Now this is not due to release until the end of this month. So you can bet your sweet bippy I grabbed this sucker in a hurry, right? Oh my God, it's so cute. It's so dark and creepy and adorable. It's right up my alley. <laughs> so I grabbed that one. And then as long as I was there, they actually had, um, they had a lot of the decks. Well, they had all of the decks open, actually. One, one deck of, of everything they had there was open. So you could physically look through the cards, feel the cards, and you know, you could try before you buy, um, which I really appreciated. And so, again, this one's been on my wish list for a long time, too, and I finally got it as well. Um, so, thoroughly excited to have this one in my collection, as well as um, these, the Mirror Truth Lenormand cards. So I'm excited to have this and, you know, I'll be doing unboxings and all that good stuff with these things as well. But I mean, can you, can you tell <laughs> what did I end up with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven new tarot decks. <laughs> I had such a good time, you know, throwing caution to the wind um and so yeah uh that was just so so much fun um one of the last things i want to do is i have to show you this package so i tried to win this deck first with the raffle but i didn't win at, i didn't win any of the raffles kim did but I didn't win any of the raffles. Uh, so I ended up having to buy the deck. And I got the very last one that they had. They did not think that they were going to get such an overwhelming response that they didn't bring <laughs> enough decks. <laughs> Which I think is just so cute and so adorable. So... I am going to shout out, oh, they're so cute. I, they must have snuck this in when I wasn't looking. Look at this. They gave me, they gave me little mini, oh, that's cute, mini dum-dums. And then, of course, their signature, which is the Wandering Oracle. So I spent time with George and Emilio the two guys that created the Marshmallow Marseille. And I ended up walking away with the Tarot Sirene. So I'm so excited to have this in my collection. Um, George and Emilio are two of the, the nicest guys. Emilio takes care of the business part of the, uh, the duo. And um, Emilio is the artist. And it was just so wonderful to talk with them. And they really didn't know how much their Marshmallow Marseille has impacted the online tarot community. 
So I let them know just how much we, we truly cherish their decks, both the Marshmallow Marseille and now the Tarot Sirene. So um, they were just absolutely thrilled and overjoyed. And so to Emilio and George, thank you so much for your contribution to the tarot community because, um, and it was a pleasure hanging out with you guys for a little while as well. Um, gosh, I think, oh no, no, I'm not done. Hold that thought. <laughs> I saved the best for last. Because this woman is so amazing on so many levels. Um, she's really just a wonderful lady and she is extremely knowledgeable um, in not only tarot but in occultism which I respect and appreciate. Um, and I also appreciate her creative abilities as well. I just appreciate her as a friend and as a creator, uh, especially because she did a very large tarot bag order for me, uh, for nudes. And I have to show you the amazing bags that I got from her. Um, I have 11 decks that are in shitty tuck boxes or in crappy, those crappy, huge velvet bags where the cards flop all over the place. Yeah, no. Divine Noctavaga. I'm going to put her, her links up here. Divine Noctavaga. Her prices for her bags are really inexpensive for what you get. This is really handcrafted work. Um, so when you put the bag or when you put your cards in here, they fit snugly. They will lay down, they will stand up, and the cards will not warp. I have several of her bags, and I've been waiting to um, assess enough money to get more to, to take care of the other ones that are floundering and not so good bags. So this is a huge shout out to Kira at Divine Noctavaga. But look at the pretty, look at the pretty. This is for my, uh, one of my winter weights. So I got that for my winter weight and I got this one, which has got a little sparkly to it for my other winter weight. So I have that. Um, what else did I get? Oh yes, I got this one for my Halloween tarot. Um, I got this one for my Tarot of the Vampires. Isn't that, look at that gorgeous blood red. It's just amazing. Um, this one, of course, I got for my Demon Tarot. That was perfect for my Demon Tarot. But, I, you know, her, her work, um, this is for one of my dead weights. And this is for... You know, my other one. This is for the, the zombie deck. And this is for the apocalyptic. Ap I can never say that word. Apocalyptic. So, same fabric, two different features. So, I love that. So, I know they're the same the same decks. Um, this is, is for my, my groovy weight. The mushrooms, right? How cool is that? Um... I'm trying to remember the other three. <laughs> I can't. Off the top of my head, that's a lot. That's a lot. But I have this lovely death moth. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, <clears throat> I, this is for my green witch. I remember this. This is for my green witch because it's got Cernunos on it and it has the lovely greenery and stuff. So I do remember that's for my green witch. And then she had this adorable bewitched fabric as well. And that's for another one of my witchy decks, which I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
But guys, Divine Noctavaga, get her bags. They're, they're absolutely incredible. They're so well made. And again, they lay flat, they stand up, the cards fit in snugly, no warping. Um, it's wonderful. It's really wonderful. Holy cow, I can't believe I have been talking for 45 minutes. Who am I? This is like the longest video I have, I think I've ever made or I've made in a long, long time. But suffice it to say that for me, Newt's was a huge, huge success in so many different ways. And um, I'm back home and I am ready to now charge ahead with a renewed spirit and a renewed outlook and just, yeah. Life is good, guys. Life is good. All right, then. I think I've said all I can say. So with that, I send you much chakra love and I will see you in the next one. P.S. Give me a little time to get all those links under there. <laughs> Mwah!